not sure, but we're pretty sure it's today. Now to the fascinating story of two women brought together by a strange twist of fate and a shared story of Anzac bravery. It all began when author Marianne O'Connor wrote a war novel inspired by the tales of her grandfather, a soldier, over a century ago. Then June Bell, the daughter of an Anzac veteran, saw the book and was intrigued by the mention of a military silk scarf. So she contacted Mary Ann only to discover a special, previously unknown link between their families. Now Sunrise has brought these two women together for the very first time. Oh, <laughs> oh dear, dear. I thought I'd surprise you. <laughs> It's so lovely to meet you. It's lovely to meet you. <laughs> Two women from different generations, different families, bound together by the ageing silk threads of two scarves. When June Bell read Marianne O'Connor's book, Gallipoli Street, she was struck by the mention of a scarf. A military token she too had inherited from her father, sent back from the war-torn trenches of Turkey and embroidered with a message to his family. Oh, look at that. The soldiers would go down to um, the markets in Cairo oh, yes. and they'd have them specially made. Yes. So he's obviously really missing home. From this blossoming friendship, the revelation that their family's paths have crossed repeatedly. Most poignant of all, that their relatives likely fought side by side in the same regiment. Mary Ann brought her grandfather's scarf to show her new friends. Oh, isn't that wonderful? Isn't that wonderful? A gift from King George in Cairo to thank the soldiers. The fact that it was kept under his bed in a tin with his medals, I think he was very proud of it. I never met him. He died before I was born. And to have this is like I have a part of him. Both men survived the war, but June's father passed away when she was 14. I feel very cheated that I didn't get to spend the years with him. But what I do remember of him was he was a very kind, gentle, caring man. At least for June, this little military mystery has now been solved with a helping hand from fate. It's such a beautiful story, and we're joined by one half of that fabulous new friendship, Marianne O'Connor. Marianne, good morning. It is it's so lovely. When did you think, uh, what did you think when you first got that email, that there was somebody else out there, another family out there, a little bit like yours? It was extraordinary because I've never heard of anybody having one of these scarves before. Um, but they're very different scarves, and they seem to tell a different tale. You know, so hers is, um, her father was had a very sweet sort of scarf that he'd embroidered to his mother mm. and the real country boy and this is obviously a very military scarf um, that my grandfather said was given to him in hospital when he was recovering um, so they've got two different sides to the soldier I think. And this is it now I'd read about it but hadn't seen it and it's quite intricate there's a real story in this scarf alone isn't there? Yes there is and particularly what I love is that um, he's actually written on it and put his rank in the date the 26th of September 1915 and he was recovering from Gallipoli in hospital with dysentery. So, you know, he was also um, a bit of a writer. He had a few short stories published. So when I was writing Gallipoli Street, I was very inspired by the idea that I had some of his handwriting in front of me the whole time. Now, and what's even more amazing, I mean, there's, there's every chance, it's most likely, isn't it, that June's father and your grandfather, that they knew, they would have known each other. It's an incredible thing, because it's like these families have been trying to come together for a hundred years. Mm. Like her daughter worked with my brother, there's, there's her sister married in O'Connor. You know, there's so mm. many coincidences. But to have this very special memento in common is um, it's very precious. And I almost feel like, sounds a bit silly, but like they'd really be so pleased to know that. Yeah, and the, the other thing about them too, I mean, different ages, weren't they? Your grandfather was 27 when he was there. Other way around. Uh, other way, yes. Yeah. Your, your grandfather was 17. Right, yeah. um, June's dad was 27. So he may well have been a father figure to your grandfather. I really think so. You know, I mean, it's extraordinary to me. I always wanted to write the story because a 17-year-old going to war, I have a 16-year-old son, yeah. you know, and he went from 17 to 22. And then when he came back, he went through the Great Depression. And then he sent his own sons to war 20 years later. 
to live through the scope of those those experiences um it was calling for a novel for me yeah. <laughs> but I, I like to think there were some you know father figures in in people like harry that were looking after him well, what does it tell you do you think do you think fate has brought the two families together is that I what definitely it is? do my, my brother would call me um superstitious <laughs> but um i am a little bit like that anyway but i i think it's fate it's a beautiful story congratulations on, on writing the book and then being able to connect like this and i think uh, at a time when we're not always sure where we're heading, stories like this really give us hope and, and are quite inspirational. Well done, Marianne. Thank you so much. Thanks for sharing it with us at Weekend Sunrise. Here's Eddie.